Well, well, well. Welcome back, fans of Privateer FX. Took a couple of days off traveling uh, end of last week. So, if you guys missed me, sorry about that. But uh, much needed fun uh, traveling here in, in Europe. So that was good, and we're right back, right back in the thick of things. Just a little bit of a recap. We had a bit of a break in um, Euro dollar on Thursday, up through 117.20, traded up to 08. Now have sort of settled back into the range, and looks like we're going to be actually heading lower today. Um, Wednesday we have FOMC. Surely they're going to raise rates. The market now is the short-term market now is mildly long. Uh, the long ter longer-term market, it's unclear whether they're still short, but most of the guys I know are long, um, and that usually means trouble when we're lingering near near their. Uh, their stop zone. So these guys are going to be taken out between 117.20 and 117, the figure. Good chance we see that today. Uh, I don't have a dog in this fight at the moment, so we're just chilling. This line here, so this was the break up, so this is your death knock, uh, comes in 117.21. For those of you who want to fade risk, an hourly close above this after they get the stops, eh, could be something. But keep in mind, FOMC is now on everyone's frontal lobe. U.S. is going to raise rates, um, so Euro probably drifts a bit lower here. Cable got smashed on Friday when uh, Theresa came out and said there was problems. I, th I still think this is a buy on dip. That is a pretty heavy red bar, though, so no need to run and dive into this. Uh, 128.50, we know um, from all of the hard work we put in two weeks ago trying to get long cable uh, is your support. So with the FOMC and with problems uh, haunting the Brexit process, you could easily see this thing flop down to 130, 129.75. Um, so there's no rush to buy this. Uh, S and P's seem a bit overextended to me. Uh, we had that big day on uh, Wednesday last week, up to I don't know 50. Yeah, 29.50. Now we're going into uh, FOMC week. Could be some complacent, complacency here now. I don't mind selling this. Uh, your stop has to be above this high here. We'll probably have to fill in this gap uh, to 29.31 at some point today. I like selling S&Ps between 30 and 35. Uh, stop above 50. That looks pretty interesting to me. Let's quickly look at Dollar Czar. Wow, that was a bit of a shocker last week. They did not raise rates. We went from 1490 to 1418. Don't really understand this at all. Uh, this looks wildly mispriced to me. Um, 1435 now. Doji on uh, Friday. So. This starts to get interesting again if we can get if we can nose up through 1442 today. The conservative play here is to um, buy this thing around 14, the figure where there's I see very very strong support. Um, we will be looking to re-engage in longs and dollars are. Um, we got kicked out at 76 last week. Uh, scratch that.
but we still like this uh, we still like this to float higher um, so let's 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 see we're not going to dive into this we need some sort of bullish action before we're just we're not going to just try and pick a bottom out of the blue um, so keeping an eye on this hoping for an opportunity to get long euro yen turn bar and lower lows today uh, this this looks set to head lower uh, it's unclear um, where the energy came from to get up to 133.13 uh, on Friday but voila there we are looks like a turn to me uh, you can ignore this line this is old core short euro yen not a bad idea at one 3220 your risk reward is upside down so again uh, after a couple of days off we're just easing back into this uh, to me it looks like 13250 50 to 70 is your short zone anyway that's about it uh, for now I will uh, throw some tweets up if I get any real good inspiration um, the closest thing we got going here is uh, equity so we're going to be selling s and P's uh, in the 2930 zone. Good luck out there, people, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.